Hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. I'm gonna show you how to wrap this door handle here. This, Justin Pate's already done a video of how to do this door handle, more door handle like this. Uh, we've masked the surrounding area so that we can alleviate a lot of tension. Um, the film will just slide off really nicely. We've already prepped the handle with isopropyl alcohol, wiped it down thoroughly. We've actually remounted the handle, so this handle just slides back and then comes out. So I've remounted it for the purpose of um, applying the film. I lost my blade, just had it. There it is. We're gonna take our piece of vinyl and cut it, obviously larger than the size of the door handle. Get rid of the extra film. It's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna trim some off. We don't need all that. I've also pre-wrapped the backside. This is kind of like an inlay, so I've pretty much done an inlay on the backside. You can actually see that I'm a little bit over here. So I'm gonna trim off some excess. So that we don't have so much film to fold around. We're just going for full color change. You won't really notice the seam on the back of this handle here because it's hidden all the time until you pull the handle out. So what I'm gonna do here is take the film and push it up against the handle right here. We're gonna make sure we have full coverage top and bottom. I'm also going to stick the film down right now because it's pretty cold in here, it's about 50 degrees. I'm gonna stick that film down right there. Now what I wanna do is take this film and stretch it up and around this handle. So we're gonna create the fingers running this way down the handle. The point of failure on most door handles is right here. So the reason being is that everyone's stretching this way. Now if we stretch this way, we create all the tension at the end. If we stretch this way, we create the tension at this end. The difference between this end and that end, sorry, this end and that end is that this end is curved. So there's gonna be a higher rate of tension across here and across here and here. And this would probably be the least amount of tension, but usually they fail around the top, bottom, or the very tip depending on how you wrap it. We're gonna work everything this way, and this is a much flatter, more even surface. We don't have an, a, a tip to contour around this way. So in the end, we can just cut it off, pre-shrink everything, and then cut it all off at the end, and we have a nice relaxed film. So let's heat the film. I'm gonna pull it back to the edge. Stick my squeegee there just in case. And now all our tension is going this way. And sorry, this film is uh, Vivid Satin Chrome Icy Blue. I believe that's the actual name of it. It's a new, it's a new premium plus product. So we can shrink this right now. And we don't have to worry about this pulling back on the ends anymore. Now it's not gonna pull back anymore. So you're saying, what are we gonna do about that over there? Okay, I'm gonna show you right now. So, if we alleviate some of this tension here right now, we can shrink it down, look at that. I just shrunk, I just shrunk the material to the door handle. I'm gonna have to finish it off a little bit to clean it up but that material just shrunk right around there. It's the, pretty much the greatest thing. And I know we have next to no tension on this end. So again, I'm going to lift the bottom up. Just being careful here. And you're gonna watch, try to watch down here right now. It's gonna shrink back. Look at it, look at it pull in, it just pulled right in on its own. So we know this material already shrunk. What's really gonna pull back anymore? Nothing. There's no chance of pullback. I'll even shrink the end a bit if I have to. I'll go over it a bit. And it's done. Now we just need to remove the door handle and finish off the outer edges. 
and tucking in, there's an edge on the inside. So I'm tucking into that edge. It'll alleviate all the tension here. Just want to make sure I alleviated all the tension there. Let's take this door handle off. It's kind of like clipped on a little bit. Okay. There's a wire in here. I've already unplugged it. I gotta plug it back in afterwards. Okay. So this situation right now, we have no strain on these edges. I'm going to show you in two seconds. This has got some little bit of air bubbles in here. There we go. When I shrink, when I heat this right now, there's no pullback anywhere. This means we did it right. So if we had gone the other way, all our tension would have been around this edge. And when we go to shrink it, you're gonna get little fine wrinkles all the way around it. And you have a greater chance of failure. Now we have zero chance of failure. So I'm gonna trim off all of this excess. And I can trim it right off on the edge, on the bottom edge. There's not really any need to go and leave a ton on the inside because it's not going to fail. You can leave a ton on the inside when you think that it's going to fail. That's what we used to do. But now we have different techniques. And like I said, Justin Pay has already shown this in one of his videos. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not. Um, some of you follow him, some of you follow me. Um, and he's great at, at his installs. So you know, I highly recommend watching some of his videos. They're a little bit different than mine. So as far as I've done an inlay on the back piece already, all we really have to do is just, we're gonna heat this up a bit, contour it around slightly. So I, I pretty much wrapped it right up to the edge. And we're not gonna see the seam on the back side here. First of all, it's not gonna be facing you. And second of all, it's hidden nearly all the time. When we're cutting, we're gonna cut on the handle very carefully. This is not something you would knifeless. This is a free hand cut. You know, I get installers are all about knifeless tape, but in the end, a lot of freehand cuts have to be made. So if you think that everybody is doing everything completely knifeless, that's a lie. We do have to cut on the car, just depending on where and how we cut and how carefully we cut. Just, um, that's where the skill level is. So obviously nobody's trying to damage anyone's paint, but people do. Uh, for lack of experience, for the most part, on how to cut the film. Okay, that's out of the way. We'll cut out this button. First, I need to push in some of this film to that inner edge there where that handle, that black part meets the handle. And always go over the edges slightly just to round them off after I've cut. This is just a gasket, this little black thing. Oops. Let's get that film off. There's an edge in there, we're gonna cut on that edge. But what I wanna do is I wanna do some relief cuts. So I wanna do a relief cut right around the edge here. Cause it's really high tension right there. It's gonna be really high tension over here as well. Okay, let's get those relief cuts in there. Now we can just kind of fold things around as opposed to stretching. If we stretch too much in here, it will fail. So again, doing your relief cuts is very important. We're gonna run our blade right down. There's a little line there. We're gonna run our blade right down that line that, where that black piece meets the silver. So 
sometimes it's a bit hard to see to find it. I'm trying to find the uh, the edge here. Trim off this excess. Okay. Same thing for the other side. Sorry if that's not on camera. I had to zoom in a little bit more for this piece. Then I'm just gonna soften it up and get it over a bit. Do our relief cuts. Okay, one there. Do our relief cuts closer to the bend. So that way we can just bend it right over. And heat it again, let it shrink a bit, then push it in. Oop, almost dropped it. So the one thing in Justin Pate's video that I noticed was that he didn't really do the inside of the door handle. We showed you how to wrap the outside of the door handle, but we didn't show you how to they didn't show you how to wrap the inside of the door handle. And you're gonna want to do that because if your handle's red, it's gonna show red. So we're gonna be very careful when we're cutting here. Trying to keep your hand underneath it. Find that line, that gap, run your blade right through it. Again, I'm just pushing down and I'm looking for that line. Okay. And here. One tapers in a bit more. This one's a really hard one to see. All right. So we've wrapped the inside of the door handle and post heat it. going to heat this little button up, push it down. I just snapped the very tip of the blade off, um, so I need to do a fresh one here. Okay. Take the blade that I snapped off, I usually stick it in some vinyl. Don't scrunch it up too hard, but make sure it's put away and we'll sweep that up. the button so I'm going to heat the button up make sure I get this nice and tight and when I, I'm going to cool it because cutting the film when it's that warm makes it a little bit too pliable and the blade usually drags so I'm going to push I'm pushing the button down while I'm doing this so we don't have to actually remove this back handle piece to make a clean finish in the end. That's usually the problem is being able to cut this part really nicely so that it looks like it's 
still pretty and, not, and natural, like it's painted. We push the button down, it's kind of a trick. It lowers it, and then you actually get the vinyl tucked in a little bit. I'm gonna go over it again with a bit of heat and push down on it again with my finger. And that is the door handle. No tension around this point of failure, which is the highest point of failure. So that's how you wrap a door handle. The back piece, you're gonna do exactly the same as two pieces. It's exactly the same shape as this, except it's shorter, so it comes to about there. It just fits on the back there. Um, and you're gonna bring, bring in the film again and then stretch it over backwards. Not too much, just be careful of how much you do do it and make sure you do pre-shrink everything before you cut it. Anyways, uh, this is Christian from CK Wraps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some more videos, please subscribe. Uh, for those who are subscribing, thank you very much. There's always going to be more coming. Um, next weekend, we have a Mercedes S550 in uh, vivid luster red chrome. Uh, and then we have another install right after that in luster black chrome on a Mitsubishi Eclipse. It's going to be a fun one because it's a very round car, but I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Take care.